Hello everyone Welcome to the sixth video in the chakra series Today we'll be focusing on the third eye So if this is your first video of mine that you're watching then I encourage you to watch the first video of the series, which is about the root chakra which I'll have linked up above the whole playlist with all the different videos and Reiki sessions that we've done so far Also, if you're new here, my name is Silka I am a level 2 Reiki practitioner and welcome so, let's talk a little bit about the third eye chakra It's located right between your eyebrows, right in the middle there It's associated with a purplish blue color And it's the seat of your awareness, of your perception If you have watched my previous chakra videos, this is the chakra where we sort of transcend the self all the other chakras had to do with parts of your life parts of your personal development and this is the first chakra where there is a meeting of two worlds there's a meeting of you as an individual and the collective consciousness so this is the place, the center where you have your psychic abilities for those of you who have those also, your intuition lies there We actually have two centers for intuition We have the sacral chakra and the third eye And they are two distinct, different types of intuition The intuition that um, resides in your sacral chakra is a more visceral kind of intuition where the intuition, the message, will come through your body so that's for example when you feel physically repelled by someone or you get goosebumps it's your body communicating to you a message the intuition that resides in her third eye is a different kind of intuition a lot of times it'll show up as a soft little whisper in your mind something that a lot of times isn't logical or it might feel like it's kind of just coming out of nowhere and it's basically our third eye tapping into the bigger perspective around us so it could be our spirit guides communicating through our intuition or third eye it could be your higher self it could be God if you believe in God um, There are a lot of different names but it basically comes down to the same thing which is it comes from the collective down into you as an individual So let's go a little bit into underactive um, third eye chakra and overactive third eye chakra just so you know what we'll be working on here today so people with an underactive third eye chakra maybe are not so much in touch with their intuition there is a disconnect they lack the ability to self-reflect and to be aware of the things that they do and they say and where those are coming from from what part of themselves it's coming from There is also a fear of the unknown because there is a very weak connection between you and this higher power or being Again, you can call it whatever you want whether you're calling God, the collective consciousness, source, it all comes down to the same thing So that's for people with an underactive third eye chakra People with an over 
active third eye chakra have a tendency to excessively daydream to have a very active imagination but to a point where it's disturbing to them they could have hallucinations or very scary vivid dreams they might also deal with mental overwhelm anxiety brain fog those things and they can also be more on the judgmental side more critical so doesn't matter in which of those two camps you fall into or whether you see yourself reflected a little bit of both because we'll be working on balancing the third eye chakra so we'll be helping both cases, if that makes sense. So, get yourself comfortable. We're going to start now with the Reiki session of the practice. There will also be some visualization and some positive affirmation towards the end. So, today as our cleanse, I have my seashell with me here with some dried sage leaves just as a little FYI there will be louder sounds in this video tapping matches those kind of things so if you feel like that is going to inhibit you from falling asleep I have made a playlist up above here with very soft videos. We have a little bit of sage on the mic. <laughs> Alright, let's strike a match. Imagine that the smoke could travel through your screen towards you. Take a deep breath in all the way down to your belly. if your body is holding on to any tension of the day and if you do feel any tension just guide your breath towards that space allow your breath to soften the tension I'm going to put the sage off to the side here in its little home, its little shell. Alright. So, as 
usual, let's start with our Reiki symbols to energetically activate the session. You can just imagine my hands a couple of centimeters away from your forehead. Imagine this warm, loving light entering in through your third eye. these guys. But I love the wolf sound that they make when you run them together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come a little closer and I'm going to have one at the front of your third eye and one here at the back 
because the chakras, well, except for the crown chakra and the root chakra, the other chakras have a front and back. So I want to be able, this one here is behind you, I want to be able to clear the chakra from both sides. And fluorite is great for clarity. So we want to bring some clarity to your self-awareness, to your ability to imagine things. Again, allow yourself to tune in to the frequency of this fluorite. Feeling the energy coming in from the front of your forehead and the back of your head. Alright. So that was the fluorite for you. already looking a lot better, a lot more decluttered and cleaned out, so to say. Now what we want to do is invite in protection and magic, because it's from our third eye that we were able to connect to alternate realities, alternate dimensions. If you've ever had a really intense meditation session where you saw things, you had visuals, those come from your third eye. If you ever did any hallucinogenic drugs, the hallucinations come from your third eye as well. So we want to bring some magic back into your third eye, but also protection so that Whenever you do find yourself in an altered state of mind, whether naturally through meditation or through external things like hallucinogenic drugs or plant medicine, we want to protect you so that only the good things can come through and show you things. So, I have two beautiful pieces of labradorite. These are my perfect, or my preferred crystals for protection. You guys will have definitely seen this one if you've seen my previous video on the throat chakra. And this one, I've shown in a couple of videos as well. This one doesn't have as big of a flash. It has one right here at the top. Can you see that? There. And then it has little mountain-like formations. Yeah, this one's gonna be a bit harder to show you. Either way, we're going to be using these ones just as we did with the fluoride, one in the front and one in the back. So, let's connect you in with the front one here first and then the other one behind you. And just start connecting with this crystal. Imagine this rich blue light forming a cocoon all around you, protecting you. Beautiful, just a little bit more. Really allow it to settle in. of the crystal.
crystal will work right now. We do have one more crystal to close off in a little bit, but I want to take you on a little guided visualization to help you connect with the collective consciousness around us. And since the third eye has a lot to do with imagination, I want to focus on that aspect because it's the most tangible for most people. A lot of times we use our imagination for the worse when we get really anxious about something there's some bitches outside <laughs> when we get really anxious about something a lot of times our mind will go to the worst case scenario so we want to flip it around and open ourselves up to other possibilities open ourselves up to favorable outcomes When you're ready, again, make sure that you're comfortable. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. There you go. Reconnect with your breath. You can have your hands on your belly here. Allow yourself to settle in deeper into your body, becoming heavier and heavier. Feel the weight of the air around you, on your skin, on your clothes. Feel your hands as they move up and down as you breathe. And then see if you can slow down your Allowing for more space between the inhales and the exhales. Allowing your mind to come to rest, creating more space between each. And then imagine that you could create a copy of yourself. And this copy of yourself moves out of your body, comes right in front of you, and then shrinks down to a little miniature size of you. And that miniature size of you is just hovering right in front of you. Notice what they look like. Become aware of yourself in the third person. And then that mini version of yourself moves up to your third eye. And your third eye opens up. And now, you are your miniature self. Witness your third eye opening up. Gently float towards it. And as you peek into your third eye, you see a ladder going all the way down into the darkness. And so, you make your way down the ladder. Take your time. There's no rush. Gently and effortlessly, you 
you climb deeper and deeper And with every step further down the ladder, you become heavier and heavier, sleepier and sleepier. Just a couple more steps, a couple more rungs. Clear at the bottom. Climbing all the way down. And finally, you have made your way to the bottom. You have arrived to the quantum. The field of infinite possibilities. As you look around you, you see nothing but dark vastness all around you. It goes on and on. There is no horizon. There is no end. And this space feels oddly familiar to you. Here, you feel safe and held. Feel free to walk around for a little bit and find yourself a little comfortable spot to sit down. Once you're seated, feel into the field around you. Notice the infinite space surrounding you. And then I want you to bring to mind a scenario has made you feel anxious or worried. Something that hasn't happened yet, but that for some reason worries you. Bring that situation to mind. Maybe it's something at work. Maybe it's something to do with a friendship or a relationship. Finances, health, could be anything. Become aware of the situation, look at it from a third person perspective. And then imagine what the best possible resolution would be the best possible outcome. I want you to imagine the best case scenario. Just give your mind some time to come up with the visuals And don't worry about whether or not it's something logical or something realistic. Just allow your imagination to go wild, to just imagine the best possible outcome. And then as you imagine it, allow it part of you. Really step into that best case scenario. Feel 
all the emotions you would feel. Allow it to wash over you. Wash over you. Wash over you. Allow your body to feel what it would feel like to be in your best case scenario. give you a little bit more time here to sit with it. Now, allow that best case scenario to enter your third eye. Allow it to reside in your mind, becoming part of your library of thoughts. And any time that you get worried or anxious, I want you to pull out of your library this specific scenario that you just saw. This best case scenario. Allow it to inspire you and to give you hope. These positive affirmations will help you keep your third eye balanced, nourished, and happy. Feel free to repeat after me. When I feel stuck, I allow the universe to step in Every situation holds a seed for growth. Beautiful. My imagination is powerful. I use it. The universe has my back and I am safe. Really good. The more I act on my intuition, the stronger Experiencing itself in first person perspective. Really good. Really allow those affirmations to sink in, to energetically become part of you.
Once you have arrived at the ladder, make your way up towards the light again, taking one step at a time. No rush. Take your time. Enjoy it. there. And once you've reached the edge, you can peek out of your third eye to the world around you. Take a moment to take stock, to notice, to reflect. climb out of your third eye again, just hovering in the air, in front of your real body, your physical body. And then when you're ready, merge with your physical body again, becoming one once more. Arriving, landing back in your body. Connect with your breath again. Allow yourself to become even more grounded in your body. You can imagine roots shooting down your legs or your hips, anchoring you down into the earth. giving you a sense of stability. Rooting you down. And then when you're ready, if you want to, and only if you want to, crack open your eyes. So, that was a little short visualization for you. Know that you can always go back to that place deep in your third eye. If you feel lost or overwhelmed, you can go back to that place to connect in with your best case scenario. But do know that it also resides in your mental library now. So, it's always there to grab for Now, the only thing that I've left here for today's session is this beautiful rainbow moonstone which has a flash on the tip somewhere. I think it's around here. Mm, not sure it's gonna show. But either way, Allow this beautiful rainbow moonstone to connect in with your third eye, giving you an extra layer of protection and connection to your intuition. Helping you also connect in with your spirit guides and any outside help. Let's go in one last time with some Reiki to help close everything off. Really good. Okay. That was it for today's session. I hope that you enjoyed the visualization and the crystal healing and the Reiki. If 
you are already asleep, then sweet dreams. <laughs> I hope that you wake up feeling refreshed and excited for the day ahead. If you are still awake and with me, feel free to like and comment, subscribe if you wish to do so. And I will see you guys very soon for the last video in the series, which is your crown chakra. So, I'm excited for that one to come out soon. Either way.